Today's video from Shopstuff, we're taking a quick look at the CountLab Model 9 cash register. The Model 9 is the top machine in the 789 range and is supplied with a standard size metal cash drawer. So if you're familiar with our demonstration videos, what we'd like to do is basically just use the cash register, um, show you some of the features and try and give you enough information as to see whether the machine's suitable for your business or not. So I'll get straight to it with the Model 9. The machine supplied with a just over one meter long mains power cable and also three keys which control which mode you're in. So the cashier gets the key that goes to the reg and non-reset in X modes and the manager gets the key that goes to all modes including the end of day Z reports and the programming positions. Processing sales transactions on the CountLab 9 is really straightforward. So if you're in the reg mode with 0.00, .00 on the display, all you do is you type in the price. So for £10, 1000, and then apply that amount of money to any one of your 14 sales department buttons. The button, if you've had the machine programmed, the description of the button appears on the display so it's confirming that you press the right button and it also prints on the um, till receipt which I'll show you shortly. You repeat that procedure for every line of the transaction so for a pound one zero zero. Um, you can have the departments preset with prices so if you've got that set up like my prescriptions button here you simply press the button and it comes up with a price as standard. Once you've entered all your items you hit the subtotal button over here the subtotal is displayed on the operator display and also on the customer rear display, which is numeric only. And then you need to cash off the transaction. Um, how you do that varies depending on how the customer's paid. If we imagine that this um, sale is a card transaction, the card terminal processes the transaction, and then you hit your card button here. The cash draw fires and the till receipt prints out the top. We'll look at the cash drawer shortly, but for now we'll look at the receipt. So you've got here um, the CountLab Model 9 can have up to nine lines of receipt header message and nine lines of personalised footer message. Nine's quite a lot, so I've gone on mine, I've gone for three lines. So I've got ShopStuff, the phone number, and then www.shopstuff.co.uk. Um, this part of the receipt is fixed, you can't edit what appears here. Um, and then on the itemised section of the receipt, you've got the department descriptions, so grocery, dairy, prescription, carling half, cider pint and so on. And then the price is displayed over on the right hand side. You've got a total and then the method of payment here. So credit card, 26.35, date and time, that's obviously uneditable. And then your footer message at the bottom. Um, what you have on the footer message is up to you. Um, you can have up to nine lines, as I say, on both the top and the bottom and it's entirely up to yourself. Um, so another sales transaction on the machine you've got, if you've got presets set up, then you might want to use the multiply button. So you can enter, maybe if you're using it in an event or in a hospitality environment, you can go 10, multiply, and then hit one of your presets, so cider pint, and then the till does the um, calculation for you, obviously. Um, you've got a discount button on there, so if you subtotal the sale and want to give a discount, um, you simply type in the percentage of the discount, so 10, and then hit the percentage button, and that's taken 10% off. It's all displayed on the screen, and then if we take a look at the receipt, it'll be displayed on there as well. So on this transaction, we'll do a cash sale, and we'll take a look at the cash draw. So we've got a subtotal of £36. Customer hands over £40, so 4000 cash total, cash draw fires, receipt prints out. So the receipt's identical to the previous one, except it says cash here, £40, and then it displays the change as well. Um, the change is also displayed on the operator display, so to help the operator dispense the correct change. If we take a quick look at the cash draw insert. So it's a standard size, what I call a standard size, or full size insert, I guess. You've got um, four note holders, so enough for all UK note types, 5, 10, 20 and 50. And then you've got the, unlike the Count Lab Model 8, you've got a full size coin area. So you've got eight decent sized coin pots, one for each of the coin types. On the front, there's also a media slot um, for entering checks or card slips, maybe. The insert itself is on the rollers.
So you just pop it in like that. You can order when you order through the shop stuff website, you can order additional inserts, maybe for shift changes or preparing the float. You'll notice that there's keys in the cash drawer. Um, you don't have to use the keys, they come with them, and the till works with or without the keys. So the cash drawer fires every time. What the keys allow you to do is um, open the drawer manually um, should the manager need to check um, what's in there. So you, you've got that option. If you don't want to use them, you can chuck them away or keep them in a safe place. Okay, so that's some basic sales transactions we've run through the machine. Uh, if we take a look at some of the other functions we've got on there, um, over here you've got received on account, which could be for entering your cash flow to the start of the day. You've got a paid out button for paying suppliers cash out of the till. Clear is for if you've typed in the wrong amount of money before assigning it to a department button, you can simply press the clear button and it gets rid of it there. I'll just drag the till forward a bit. We've shown you the cash draw so you can now look mainly at the, the machine itself, hopefully. Um, over here, you've obviously got your department button. So department in till speak is like uh, a group or category of sale. Um, so these can be, this machine we've programmed as if it was on our platinum service. So the, it says grocery here and the button is grocery. So when you press grocery, the grocery button says grocery and it says grocery on there. It says grocery on the till receipt and also say it on your end of day report. You've got 14 of those. You have got a shift button, which enables you to have up to 42 sales departments, but obviously the first 14 are the easiest to use, especially if they're presets, because you can just hit them. I'm um, showing you how to multiply sales. So five, multiply carling half, and the till does the calculation. Um, receipt on off, so you don't have to have the receipt print out with every sales transaction. You can turn it off, and then you've got receipt issue over here. If a customer requests a receipt, um, we've shown you the discount button. So that's kind of it in terms of the main functions. Uh, the main sales, basic sales functions of the machine. So we can now take a look at the reporting side of things. Um, there's a refund button here. I can't remember if I said that. So you can process returns on the Model 9. In terms of the reporting, like most tools, you've got an X and Z mode. So X is reset, uh, sorry, non-reset. It's read only. So it gives you the information. So you'd use that during a day or maybe after a shift change to check pro progress. Uh, rather than cashing up. It's the Z mode for your end of day reporting. Um, now the biggest difference between the Model 9 and kind of the next levels down, so the Models 4 to 6 and Models 1 to 3, is the detail of reporting you can get. Um, so the standard report you run will give you a financial breakdown and then an audit roll. So it shows you how much money you've taken and by what method of payment. It doesn't break it down by department, but it does give you an audit. So an audit is, if you're familiar with tills, you might know it as a journal roll. It basically details every single transaction that's happened on the till. So sales, programming, refunds, reports, everything gets printed out on the journal. If you don't want the journal to print um, with the standard report, which a lot of people probably wouldn't because there's almost too much detail on there, you can run a couple of different reports. When you run the report, the financial standard report without the journal displays on the screen, so you can check it on the screen. And then when you hit the cash button, it also prints out there. What I'm going to do is run the department report as well, so you can run a daily department report. This is kind of like how I would probably use the register. I'd do a quick financial, which gives me the figures so I can cash up, and then my department report is useful for reference. When you've run your report, subtotal, and then key back to reg. And then we can take a look at what's printed out. See, so it's clearly defined as a... Um, was look at the top one first, clearly defined as a Z report. So it says Z report at the top. It's got the date and time on there. And then you, because it's the financial, it just shows you the figures. So it's the amount of money um, taken and then crucially by method of payment. So you know you've got £64 in cash and 26 35 on your credit card machine. Um, and then the department report is the, it's the, inf the information is the same as in it's from the same overall figures but it's broken down by um, department rather than method of payment. So it shows grocery, so it's got the name, the total sale, that's the value of sales put through the grocery department, and then quantity is the number of sales through the grocery department. It also shows any refunds through that department, and it breaks that down for every department. So it's quite a lot of information, quite a detailed and useful report. Um, 
so that's kind of it on the Model 9 in terms of the main functions. Um, obviously, where you order your Count Lab till from uh, does matter. You can order the machines through different channels. My recommendation is to order it via shopstuff.co.uk uh, for a couple of reasons. The first reasons are the service levels. When you order directly from Shopstuff, the machine is supplied as standard on our pre-programmed platinum service, which includes 12 months telephone support. So you can call us up, speak to the person who programmed your machine about possibly changing prices or changing the programming or running reports or using the till. Uh, but also the, machines, um, the machine is fully programmed, so we'll program the receipt header, the receipt footer, and then up to the 14 different department buttons here. We'll program them so that they, so the description appears on the till receipt and on the report I just, um, we just looked at, but also on the keycaps here. So you can, it's possible to remove the plastic cover here and put on a personalized keycap. So it actually says on the button what the department is. Um, you'll notice you can opt out to get a cheaper price. You could opt out of the standard platinum service if you want to program the register yourself but our, we supplied a standard on the platinum and that's our recommendation of how to have it because it's pre-programmed by a till engineer and is fully supported. The other reason why you might want to order off the Shopstuff website is you get access to the exclusive prices we do on the sundry items. So the most important one would probably be till rolls. We do exclusive pricing through shopstuff.co.uk on the till rolls. Um, but there's also a lot of optional extras you can get with account labs. One of the biggest advantage and unique selling points of the account labs, including the Model 9, is the fact that the base, so the base here, can be separated from the till easily. Um, there's no soldering or funny wiring. All you need to do is order a extension cable, um, a drawer extension cable, which we offer on shopstuff.co.uk, and then you can have your um, cash drawer set under the counter or separate to the till body. Um, we also offer cash drawer brackets, so you can fit these to the underside of the counter and then the um, mount cash drawer on them. You can also get a antimicrobial keyboard cover, which I'd, I'll probably recommend for everyone, but certainly if you're using the um, till in a at an event or in a hospitality environment. Um, one of the other optional extras we do is a met two meter mains extension cable. So if you're not gonna be that close to your power points, this adds another two meters on to where you can situate the register. And finally, there's a um, overnight protective cover, which just, just, it's a small thing, but it stops dust or dirt building up on the register overnight. So I'd, I'd recommend checking out the prices on all that sort of thing. So yeah, that's the Catlab Model 9. If I feel I've missed anything out, I've not covered everything in the video, you can contact us. Uh, via shopstuff.co.uk you can subscribe to the YouTube to shopstuff YouTube channel and they're probably appearing on screen now is the playlist to all the count lab tills and direct links to some of our other recommended cash registers so please check those out and thanks very much for watching